Hello and welcome to the video tutorial for MTI Commerce's application Simple CRM for eBay. For those unaware, this application is a customer relationship management tool. Every successful business uses some method of tracking customers and their purchases, and what you have here is the application for doing so on eBay. All available information is pulled into the application with no work on your end, and it's accessible at any time. As an eBay seller, you may not know that after certain periods of time, eBay removes your access to a buyer's email and mailing address. So once eBay removes that information, unless you've copied it to somewhere else, it's gone forever. Now this application captures that information while it is available and stores it for you to access at any time from anywhere. Now that we are in the application, you can see that we have two screens. The menu box on the left is used to navigate the application's features, or you can use the quick links in the reporting box to jump directly to a specific report. To begin with, let's click the first option in the menu, the customers link. This takes you to a page with your current customers for the month that you subscribe to this application. You're able to quickly see their name, as well as their location, and their year-to-date purchases with you. To quickly navigate to a specific customer or to look up by state, use the keyword search at the top of the screen. If for whatever reason you would like to add a customer that is not from eBay, you can do so by clicking the add new customer link at the bottom of this page. And here you would just fill out their information. like so. And then just go ahead and click on the submit button. And this will save your customer into the database. And you can see they've been added right here. Now back at the main customers page, you are able to edit or remove a customer's information if you ever need to. To delete a customer, just click the red X next to their name and confirm the deletion by clicking the yes button. Now if you need to edit inf information on a customer or see a more detailed view of their information, just click the magnifying glass icon next to their name and this will bring you into a detailed view where you're able to see all of the information available for them and you can change or edit information if you need to and add notes on that customer. The next feature in line on the menu would be the customer report function. If we go there we are able to run a customer report filtering by customer number or purchase date. With this, with this report, you have several different options you can sort by. You can sort by customer number, their balance, or last purchase date. For the purposes of this demo, I'll just leave everything blank and just click the submit button. And then it's a PDF file, we open it. Now zoom in, we're actually able to see, you've got a really easy to read PDF report showing our customer, their contact information as well as their email address. And this report could be used if you decided you wanted to do a direct mail marketing campaign. The next reporting option available in the application is purchase history by customer. If we go there, you're actually able to run purchase history reports using three different search criteria, purchase date, customer, or specific item. For the first example, we'll leave everything blank and just click the submit button and then open the file. Now, as you can see, this method of running the report allows you to see every customer's information as well as any and all purchases they've made from you. You can see specifically what items they purchased from you, on what day, and how much they spent as well as the total dollar amount they've spent with you for the year. 
that if we exit this report, you're also able to run it and just look up a single customer by using the drop down box and selecting a customer. Now back in the application, we can run one last report for assisting with keeping track of your customers and their purchases. This is the purchase history for all customers report. And this report will pull up a basic purchase history for all customers and it can be defined to purchases for a specific date between a certain dollar amount or purchases for a specific item. For this example, I'll leave everything blank and just click the submit button and again open the file. And with this report, you can easily see which customers have made multiple purchases with you and the total dollar amount that they've spent. The last three parts of the application are really simple to go through, but they're also very important. For eBay Sync, let's go to that page. Now from here, you can reference the last time an end of day sync was run. You run an end of day sync by clicking the blue sync end of day button. By pressing that end of day sync button, you're telling the application to pull new information from eBay. It can be run as frequently as every three hours, but if you have sales daily, you should run this process at least once a day. It's important to note that pressing that sync end of day button schedules the sync process to run, but it does not occur instantly. Depending on the number of listings you have and the amount of traffic on eBay servers, the sync can take anywhere from 15 minutes to a few hours to actually process. The My Account link just shows you what contact information MTI Commerce has for you in the event that you submit a question in the application or we need to get in touch with you. For security reasons, I blanked out My Account's information. The contact information you see for your eBay account is pulled directly from eBay, so if you do need to update it or change it, you need to do so on eBay. The last feature to cover before we finish is the Ask MTI Questions link. If you have a problem, suggestion, or question and want to quickly get in touch with us, just click the Add New Question link and enter a subject. And then just ask your question. Depending on the question, we will either contact you by the email address or telephone number at the top of the screen, which is blank currently for security reasons. If you have a preferred method of contact or a different number or email address you would like us to reach you at, please include that in the subject of the question before you click the blue submit button. That concludes the video tutorial for MTI Commerce's simple CRM for eBay application. If you like the application or found this video helpful, please feel free to leave us a feedback on eBay. Please also remember that eBay counts anything less than five stars as a negative feedback. If you do need to get in touch with us, you can use the Ask MTI Questions link in the application. You can email us at support at mticommerce.com or you can give us a call at 877-684-4767. Thank you and enjoy the application.